You're out there in Florida, and you're like, yo, dog, where's that cheap real estate at? Let me get them cheap properties. That's what you're doing, right? I'm hoping so. I don't know what the hell else you'd be clicking on this video for, because that's what we're going to talk about. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise, and I am here to help people like you invest in real estate. Today, my guy Brian. Brian, we're building you a hell of a portfolio. I really like how your portfolio is coming along. Uh, this is the 10th video I'm doing for you, and this is one you had sent to me. Uh, looks pretty good on the surface, but is it going to be a good deal? Is it really going to pan out? Let's jump into the numbers right now. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back. Let's pull up the property. And I see, I see why you like it. I see why you sent it to me, right? Because all things make it appear like it's going to be a good deal, right? 7003 Hope Ave, Cleveland, 44102. Uh, 58700 right? This is a neighborhood where the duplexes are going for like 100. So it's like, oh, dude, this must be a sweet burr, right? We got a burr here. What's going on? Because, like, you look at the pictures, uh, and it just looks grungy. And it looks like something you're going to have to just do, like, a little rehab. Nothing major, right? It's just like a low-income rental. You just spruce this bad boy up, and uh, then you slap some $750 Section 8 tenants in there, and it's going to be sweet, right? As far as what the listing agent had to say, two family on a dead-end street with only the neighbor's vehicles to contend with. Secluded by trees, front and backyards are very private. Great cash flow for investors or someone who wants to live with someone else paying the mortgage. Okay, so looks like it could be a good deal. Looks like we got a potential burr. Uh, but here's the issue, and it actually blows the entire deal. Uh, in the MLS, which is uh, what we are on, right? An MLS show, makes sense, right? Uh, there is public remarks, which I just read to you, and there's also private remarks that only real estate agents and brokers can see. Uh, they're called the broker remarks. And in the broker remarks, uh, the agent went deeper into the property's condition than they did publicly. And the issue we have here is an incredible foundation problem, okay? Uh, that pretty much blows the deal, right? It's just not going to work out from a numbers perspective, okay? Because it's probably going to be like 40 to maybe 50K because you're pretty much going to have to rebuild the whole foundation, right? It's, it's like $200 a foot. So it's like 200, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot, right? We got to pretty much build the whole thing out, right? And what they have is they have this property listed at 58. So if you just had to go in and fix up the interior units, it'd be a great bird deal because you're looking at probably 15 spot on each one. So that's like 30 Gs, right? So if you bought it at 58, you're all in 68, 78, 88. Do the bird, it's going to be 100. That makes sense, right? About $12,000 of equity. But the issue here is we probably got that 30 on top of that. We got another 40 or so in the basement minimum, right? So that's like 70K in reno. And they're asking 58.7, so that's obviously not going to make sense. So, like, yeah, I guess the deal could make sense if you could pick it up at, like, 15K, 20K. Uh, but, like, to be honest, if you bought it for 20, then doing a 70K reno uh, to have it just be worth a hundo, uh, I mean, that seems like a whole lot of additional work. Uh, so I would probably pass on this one. Uh, I just don't think it makes sense. Like, if you actually look at the history of this property, which I did, uh, this property has sold uh, multiple times for very cheap prices. And then uh, one guy pretty much got stuck with the bag, and it looks like he's trying to pass that on. And you don't want to be the guy stuck with the bag, right? So, like, back in 08, so I'm assuming this foundation problem has been here for quite some time, right? So, like, in 08, this guy made some dough, right? This person who bought it for 4K, you know, they did okay, right? Sold again in 2012 for 10.5. Even that, I guess, could be reasonable. Uh, 
But then this dude right here who bought it in 2017, who's trying to sell it now, this person got ho stuck holding the bag, right? 30K, right? So then he's trying to get you to pay 58. So you don't want to be the last guy holding the bag on this one. Um, and I also don't feel like that guy is probably going to sell it for half of what he paid for it, if I had to guess. So uh, I see why it made sense, but digging deeper into this one, it just looks like the numbers are not going to be there uh, to make anything happen with this property. Folks, that right there, that's what I do. All right, That's what I do. You want to invest in Cleveland real estate? You want to do it with the guy who knows what he's talking about. That's me. So if you like what I just did for my client, go ahead and under this video, when you're done watching it, you're done giving it the like, and you're done subscribing to Holton Weiss TV, book a free call with my team. I will walk you through some deals in Cleveland. So I get you into the good deals, keep you out of the bad ones. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Weiss TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.